Hi there, thank you so much for watching my video. This is Esther from Stamp and Star Creations. So I went ahead and made a card using a few different papers from Woven Threads and Mosaic Mood. And Mosaic Mood is the paper that I'm going to use in today's tutorial. So using a 12 inch by four and a half inch piece of designer series paper, and we're just gonna simply score this at half an inch. So really quick and really easy. So turning it round to the other side and doing the same, just score it at half an inch. So you can do this on your Stampin' Up! trimmer or if you've got a scoreboard you can do it on that instead. Then we are going to score both ends but we're going to score in the middle as well. So scoring at half an inch, then at six inches. So obviously this is on the long side, the 12 inch side, and then again that half inch. So I'm just bringing it across to, to show you. So you want to fold your creases inwards towards itself. And these help to create the flaps on our money wallet. And then that's just going to simply fold in half. Now you're going to cut the, just a slit literally up the middle of the, where the embossing line, embossing, yeah, where the, <laughs> where the embossing lines meet. And then you're going to cut off the two little squares on the corner. So I'm, I'm doing this as I go along. I've, this is my first proper make of it so I'm kind of having to uh, feel my way through as it were. So snip those two squares off on the corner and then I'm getting a ruler and a pencil just to show you on the other side which bits you want to cut away. So you're cutting around the long pieces and then the short piece at the end. You need the flap on the other side because this is going to help with the closure. Don't get rid of your scraps because we're going to use these later. So it was tricky to find a, a corner rounder to fit into the card here because it's a tricky angle. So a tip you can do is to use your circle punch and this can round off the corner. So this is the half inch circle punch but you can use something bigger if you wanted a rounder corner. Laying down my tear and tape now, I forgot to show you a trick at this point. I have done it before on my channel. So if you're worried about getting yourself in a gluey mess, you just tear off a bit of the backing, lay it off to the side, not taking it all off, like I managed to do. Um, and so you're sticking a bit of the paper, not all of it. But in this case, I've taken it all off because I forgot. <laughs> and then just lay down the other side so it creates this pocket shape. Then you can slip in your money. This is big enough for a £10 note. I'm sure it'll be big enough for the new £20 notes and anything smaller. So you can put as much as you want in there or as little as you want in there. I'm just going to um, stick this down with a glue dot just to make sure that the flap stays down. And then using a bit of Magnolia Lane ribbon. And I've got a nice end bit here. So I'm just taking off that bit of sticky. Now I tend to do knots for boys, bows for girls. and I think I would have struggled to get a bow out of this anyway. So just trim the ends, just neaten them up with your paper snips. So simple, so easy. And here are the measurements again. So it's 12 by four and a half inches. And then you're just literally scoring at every half inch and then doing your cutting afterwards. And obviously scoring at the six. So I'm using one of the scraps to just fit on the end of the envelope and this just helps to coordinate everything together, stick down this strip and then just cut off any excess that's hanging over the edge. This just gives a bit of detail to your envelope and it just brings everything together and makes it nice and matching. So we've got the envelope, the paper, the paper wallet, the money wallet and the card.
Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a go at doing this very simple tutorial. Do subscribe to my channel for more videos. Hope you have a super day.